Have you ever had to create a, a wire in your assembly and needed that twisted color band to, to match what you're actually creating uh, uh, in your production assembly? Uh, here's an easy way of creating that. Um, I'll go and start out a, uh, a 3D sketch. It could also be a, a 2D sketch, and this is going to be for my, my path of my sweep here. So I'll go and grab my spline. I'm going to drop a few points, use my tab key to jump into a different plane. I'm going to drop the points far enough a point for apart from each other so that I don't get the, uh, the spline folding back on itself or the sweep folding back. I'm going to exit the sketch. I'm going to create a reference geometry plane at the end point of the spline. So reference geometry plane. I'll go and pick the spline. I'll go and pick the end point. I get a plane right at the, the end of that end point there. Okay, so with my reference geometry plane at the, uh, the end point of the line, I'll go and start a new sketch on that end point. I'll go and create a circle off to the side here. I always like to create them off to the side so I can get that pierce relation between my center point, my circle, and my spline. I'll go and grab my pierce, and then I'll go and create a, uh, a diameter dimension on that uh, circle there. I'll go and scale it down substantially here now that I've got it into place. And then the critical thing is I want to put a flat spot on that circle so that I can actually get my surface of where I'm actually going to put my color band at. So I'm going to trim that out, put a dimension on there, and then I'll go and exit my other sketch. Uh, from this point I don't need my plane anymore, so I'll go and hide that plane. And I'll go and start up my swept boss base. I'm going to pick out my profile, I'm going to pick up my path, and then I'll go and go into my options here and go and tell it to twist along path by number of turns. I'll go and set my number of turns to maybe six or so, and then I'll get that path that sweeps, uh, twists around there. From this point, I'll go and pick out my surface, and I'll go and apply a color to that surface. I'll go and pick out a nice red, and I'll go and accept. And there you have it. You have a twisted color band going along your wire.